It's uh, two mile, two furlongs, handicap zero to 110. Kulzi and Bazaar, John 7 to 1. Melon, Colin Likove, ultra consistent Philly 11 to 1. You can find Forshan Drift 11 to 1. Quickfire Maria 15 to 2. Top of the Wood 11 to 1. Wants to stay forever 10 to 1. Lucky Rebecca, the favorite 11 to 4. Devon Twinkle 8 to 1. Fiddlers at age 11 to 1. Frosty Saga 16 to 1. 17 runners competing for the Coral Extended Marathon. Race 24, the last race on the card. They are sent on their way, racing. Bridge off for my didn't get the best of jumps out the back with Lucky Rebecca. As always, just a little bit slow out of the gates, but is recovering quite well. Wants to stay forever, goes to the front with Massage back in. Is just about to take that one. Melancholy Cove, normally a front runner, now traveling in third at the rail. Just uh, cruising a bit further back, Devon Twinkle. Then you can find Dutch Ford, Rolling Glory, Bridge off for my further back, Underground, Frosty Saga, Quickfire Maria, and the old green with the red cap is looking to move a little bit forward in the early part burning bullets going to be at the back of the field racing out six wide using quite a bit of energy the number 12 burning bullet at the back of the field so as they settle down now and approach that 14 and a half furlong mark it's going to be Basach who's in front from in second wants to stay forever Colsey and Bazaar is in third that's with the bright sleeves of the red then you can find Lucky Rebecca today she has a good position she's traveling well she's in fourth place she is racing out a bit wide wants to get a bit closer to the rail as they head to that first turn then in behind Lucky Rebecca you can find Fiddlers at age Melon Colin Lee Cove traveling well then Devon Twinkle, Frosty Saga, Quickfire Maria, top of the wood. Underground, further back in the field as we head down to the back markers, which is Forshan Drift, Bridge of Amaya, then Dutch Forward and Burning Bullet continues to race out wide and at the back of the field. 11 furlongs left to go. And it's Bastache who's in front from Colby and Bazaar in second. Wants to stay forever in third. Lucky Rebecca still traveling well in fourth, the favorite. Uh, looks to be traveling quite nicely. Just got a few ticks there behind his fiddlers at age. Just to uh, just to stay with them up that uphill a bit. Alan Cat Craig further back. Melancholy Cove as well, traveling well. Then you can find the old grey, which is Quick Fire Maria further back in the field. You can find Frosty Saga, excuse me, that's the white horse. That one is just about to approach Melancholy Cove towards the inside. Then you can find the back markers, they're all bunched up. And a rolling glory. Foshan Drift, Burning Bullet has improved his position towards, um, still racing out wide, but he's improved his position. In behind that one, Foshan Drift and Preacher of Hermoy further back. Dutch forward is at the back of the field, tailed off at this stage, but he's traveling well. Seven furlongs left to go. Versace lead has now been cut by Colsey and Bazaar. Lucky Rebecca in third, wants to stay forever towards the rail. Devon Twinkle, Alan Cat Craig, Melon Colin Lico further back in the field. Then Fiddlers at age. Frosty Saga is looking to get a little bit closer at the rail, traveling well. There's five and a half to go. They sp they're really spreading this field about 15 lengths from top to tail. There's a horse been pulled out. Dutch Ford is out the race. Take it out. Colsey and Bazaar takes up the lead from Bashas in second. Wants to stay forever in third. Travels very well at the rail. Around the corner, there's a few getting the flick now. Lucky Rebecca, Melancholy Cove. They said catch them. Uh, out wide, Fiddlers at ages using quite a bit of energy in between them. That's underground, traveling very well uh, towards the inside. There's three furlongs left to go. Colsey and Bazaar looks to be traveling very well. Bastos, the long time leader, looks to be overtaken now by Melancholy Cove towards the outside, who's now starting to really pour on the pressure. Mel and Colin Lee Cove looks a big runner towards the outside. Alan Cat Craig looking to run on underground is behind that one. And then you can find wants to stay forever. Lucky Rebecca is going to need wonderful. Is going to need to really run on to win from there. It's Colsey and Bazaar's in front of the last furlong. Mel and Colin Lee Cove is not giving up the fight and is about to put a head down now. It's Mel and Colin Lee Cove and Colsey and Bazaar. It's these two fighting out. Colsey and Bazaar gets a second gear, turns on the engines and just extends a little bit from Mel and Colin Lee Cove. Over that's gonna seal the deal. It's gonna be Colsey and Bazaar, Miller Conley Cove, second underground further, and uh, very close then for fourth place. Might be Alan Cat Craig, but it's a winner here. 
It looked like Melancholy Co was going to go with all means, was going to win this race, but suddenly the jockey just spits into second gear and Colsium Bazaar eases on by to win the race. Melancholy Co, as always, consistent, will earn again for Leon van Rensburg in second. Underground in third, Alan Cat Craig further back in the field, but John is the winner here at 13-2, to Colsium Bazaar, well done. Owen Murphy, the, 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 the jockey, Jay Fanning in second for Melancholy Co, then Jay Hart. Fiddlers at age, never really got to them. Rolling Glory, Lucky Rebecca, really never got into the race. That's a little bit disappointing. But it's a good winner here for Colsey and Bazaar, trainer John.